What's good everybody, it's your boy Slint, aka Mr. Different, back with another video, and today's gonna be another video, teach you guys how to sound design inside of 3X Oscillator. You guys really enjoyed the last 3X Oscillator video, and I'm really glad you guys did, because I want to show you guys more sound design tips with the stuff you already have available to you inside of FL Studio. So once again, I'm going to teach you guys how to make another sound inside of 3X Oscillator, and it's going to be Trap and Hip Hop's most favorite sound of all time, the 808. So I'm going to teach you guys how to sound design your own custom 808 inside of 3X Oscillator, teach you guys the basics to it, and you can transform uh, a raw, unpolished 808 into something mean and aggressive that's unique to you. You, so you guys can stop using the DJ spins uh, the, yeah, the, the spins 808 all the time I know you get tired of using that same 808 all the time So let's go ahead jump inside FL Studio Pull up 3X Oscillator and make our own 808 So here we are inside of FL Studio And I'm going to go ahead and bring up 3X Oscillator Everybody's favorite um, VST it's, I mean if it's not your favorite it will be soon I'm going to teach you guys how to make a lot of stuff inside this plugin So today we're going to make an 808 Now an 808 is super simple easy to make You can really take it from something very basic and plain To something aggressive and crazy and unique to you and your song so I'm gonna show you guys do that. So in order to start making 808, there's a few things you want to go. For. So first, all you need to pick out what kind of wave shape you want to get. Now 808s usually sound really good as a sine wave or triangle, but you can use a saw, a square, or whatever. But I say you get the best results with a square, or a sine wave, and a triangle. So we're gonna start off with a triangle. So here's a triangle wave. I'm turn my headphones on. All right, then we're going to bring down the octave by two semitones. So all the way down, pretty much on the course right here. Try to go a little lower. Okay, so that's gonna be our initial sound to start with. Nice little buzz, nice little harmonics and all that. So we need that. You know, we can filter all that out later down the road. So next, we're gonna go to the ADSR. We're gonna shape the sound. Now, a 808 is pretty much attack and decay. That's pretty much all the 808 really is. A little bit of release if you want to on it, but really it's just attack and it just decays off over time. So we're gonna turn on the envelope right here. Turn the attack all the way forward, the hold down, sustain down, release down. And we're going to adjust the decay until we get the sound we're looking for or the shape we want. So. So once you got to where it decays the way you want to, you know, that's pretty much you, but just pretty much this point, just make it the way you want to. Also a little trick, if you go to this tension uh, button right here, you actually change the tension. Of the decay so you can kind of you know shape your sound a little bit further and it's attention's on the attack um the decay and the release so mess around with that to kind of shape your sound a little much little pro tip right there okay so i'm happy with that and you know right off the bat you may think oh i got an 808 sounds good not necessarily also think about an 808 it goes from a high pitch down to a lower pitch or the initial pitch and that's what gives that 808 that characteristic but how do we do that slim easy i'm gonna show you all you gotta do go to the pitch button right here and now we're gonna work with the pitch super easy to set up you want to turn the attack the hold the k the release and everything just all the way down and then you want to turn the amount all the way to the right now the left will give you a different, give you like a ramp up effect. The right will give you a ramp down effect. So experiment and you know pretty much play around with that. But you know do it anyway. So now we should have something like this. Wait, Slim, it sounds exactly the same. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. Ah, we've got the mess with the decay. So now we're going to determine how much of that slope or how much of the decay is going to go on. So basically, this is where you really start shaping your 808. So all you got to do is mess with the decay knob until you get the sound you're looking for. So too much would be like. Like that, and we don't want that, so just. And looky, looky, you got a basic 808 ready to start shaping and putting your mix and all that. Now, at this point, you can add effects, add more stuff to it. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick real quick to kind of speak stuff. If it's still not got the impact you want to, go to the sine wave, bring the sine wave all the way down, and then bring, introduce some sub into there. And then at this point, you have your basic 808. So you can add some distortion. So I'm just going to add like a fruity, fast distortion. Where's the fruity, fast distortion? Or matter of fact, no, let's use um, what you call it, decimator, because that's a really good plugin inside of FL Studio. Where is it? Or destructor. I, I say decimator. And then we'll just put on empty. And then we'll just add in a distortion node. And then we'll add in fast distortion. Let 
like I said, you go through, you can start experiment with it, make it until it's the way you want to. Now, what if you want to save this 808 for like a drum kit or using like another DAW or send to your friend or whatever you want to do, put a, make a Reddit drum kit easy. All you need to do is open something like Edison, which is, you know, pretty standard and all that. Everybody should have Edison. Also, I would recommend getting like a, I would say get like some kind of uh, tuning plugin. I got M auto tune. Well, M tune is by the guys at um, Melda productions. It's a, it's a free tuner. So you can just see what note your 808 is. So I'm hitting a C and my notes tuned to C. If it's not, if you say your 808 is not tuned to C, you can go right here and, and affect it by the pitch. So you can actually tune it to whatever you want to. So, you know, you know, but we want to keep it. We want to tune to C mostly because that's what we we'll do. And in Edison, all you want to do is make sure it's on own input. However long, hit record, hit the C note. Boom, hit the little trim button. Now you have an 808 that you can drag and drop. You can save it, drag and drop it, whatever you want to keep it. And now you got an 808 that you can use in any DAW. Easy as that, normalize it, edit it, whatever, you know. There you go, simple as that. So yeah, once again, a great video on how to make your own sound inside of FS Studio using nothing but 3X Oscillator. Like I said, one of the greatest VSTs inside of FS Studio. Actually, it's super powerful, but super simple, but just because of the layout and how basic it looks, people write it off really quick, but you can do a lot of stuff with this. So if you want to see me make more sounds inside of 3X Oscillator, please in the description below, let me know what you guys want to see. I'll definitely do some more stuff. Like I said, take these, make these, make your own, be customized, be different. That's the whole point of my channel. Try to teach you guys ways of being different and standing out and doing stuff in a completely wrong way or a negative way or opposite way of everybody else so you can be yourself and be unique and make your own sound so with that being said if you guys are like always you know who it is it's your boy slim aka mr different your favorite nappy headed producer with the fro not motivated by the money but the like comment, subscribe and views and if you enjoyed this video thumb the video up leave a comment down below what else you guys want me to see make use whatever uh talk to me whatever say what's up it don't really matter do it all and i will catch you guys in the next video have a good one everybody i'm out